Phil A. Mignon, and this is Medium Rare Poetry. Today I'm continuing the theme of 45 Shades of Orange, which relates to the presidency of Donald J. Trump in the United States of America. To celebrate, I even wore my orange shirt. Today's poem is an allegory where a story is told beneath the words and, well, I'll let you have a listen and see what you think. This is When the Inmates Run the Asylum. When the Inmates Run the Asylum by Phil A. Mignon. Americans are different to the rest of us, it seems. They're brash with cash and have a stash. That is the common theme. They like their sparkly trinkets and aren't shy with these to brag. They even sing the praises of a starry spangled flag. They idolise their TVs with their bright and shiny stars. Reality distorted as if it came from Mars. And then one day it happened that the greatest star so bold, all tanned with orange makeup and a toilet made of gold, he painted up a portrait of the ways he sought to style them, and unbeknown to all around, he built a new asylum. So all the little people gladly helped him with their cash, a white and shiny empire that could really make a splash. They elected him their leader, for he promised loads of jobs, and this appeal to many who were members of this mob. He furnished the materials, although he had to mask it. The populists got busy weaving glossy, bright new baskets. Not all the baskets were the same. The rich folk had some aid. They'd never used their hands to fashion anything they'd made. The poor folk couldn't read the plans, but doggedly persisted. The activists were sent away if orders were resisted. The leader beamed at all his work. He'd launch them all like rockets. They had no clue that all the while their baskets lined his pockets. One group of basket weavers had the courage to oppose him, a massive mounds of evidence with which they could depose him. Alas, they were not able to invoke the Constitution, for they were too polite to ban him from their institution. The baskets were amassing from all sectors of the land. All faults or flaws were burned, those weavers proximately banned. The years went by and leader thought he'd make himself a king. Although some weavers quizzed him, they just could not do a thing. His fervent MAGA weavers wove themselves a special hat to ward off any insults that the opposition spat. And come his re-election, all the weavers fell in line with baskets full of voting forms, the outcome would be fine. But so, behold the weavers who last time were turned away, this time they were determined to ensure they had their say. The king was rolled completely like a woven Turkish mat. The happy basket weavers then assumed that that was that. The royal pout was fuming, and he spat his royal dummy, and planned a fierce uprising from his tarnished gilded dunny. He gathered up his proudest and put fire in their baskets and told them to dispatch the foe and tuck them into caskets. But foolish plans are often seen to fail without some meaning. The baskets that were modified were compromised in weaving. A basket is not fireproof unless it has been treated. Their flimsy woven bottoms failed the moment they were heated. The king became invisible by hiding in his cellar, afraid his band of patriots would see right through this fella. And all his favourite rodents fled the sinking ship of state, determined that they would not share their leader's frightful fate. And what about the winner? Was he crowned the way he should? Did all the basket weavers rally round where e'er they could? While all the other nations feared the chance of a repeat, they didn't need some weavers waving placards in their streets. They gathered all the baskets to be loaded on a liner. 
the USA asylum was exported back to China. If you thought that poem was nuts, so was the presidency of Donald J. Trump. Not that I should judge. But anyway, that's it for today. If you could press the subscribe and join our tribe, that would be just marvellous. And click the like button and share with your friends. That will help our little channel grow and we'll spread some poetry around the world. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you next time.